Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ivan Ramy from Bot and Cop Bot Sport back again with another video. This video, we're going to cover the stellar setup for Walmart Plus Drops. A lot has changed since my last video, so I wanted to make a quick updated guide for you guys. Um, specifically, what has changed is that there's now Walmart Plus requirements as well as a like new queue system. So, Walmart has definitely increased or their anti bot detection. So uh, make sure to uh, update your tasks with these setups that I'm about to show you guys. Um, also, if you haven't already watched my previous videos, which I covered Target and GameStop, I'll have those linked below. Um, these videos are also going to be based off these written guides that I update more frequently. So if you haven't already joined Bond Cop, you should. Um, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, that one, that link will have a free three-day trial just for you to try it out. If you don't like it, you can cancel any time and uh, not waste a penny. So um, let's jump into this setup. So there's there's uh, four different modes, but let's go ahead and add my uh, account, which I already did, but I'll show you where to go for that. So for accounts, you go to Sessions, go to Accounts, and then click on Walmart, add account, and you would just add your email and password. Since I already have my um, account, my all my accounts in here that have uh, Walmart Plus, I'm gonna leave them there. You, uh, if you're gonna go with um, accounts that you already had made, you're gonna need to do this step. If you're gonna auto gen, then you can uh, skip this step. So let's go to task, Walmart, so here I have a FastQ Walmart Plus disk. So that's the task that I'll be using. So um, I already have a task in here. So the reason why I have them in like four different groups, they're all for disk, but there's like four different groups. So this one is the situation in which Walmart will have a queue system, which is most of the time with Walmart Plus drops, but you never know, maybe they're not gonna have a queue. You just want to make sure you have that backup and you can start your other tasks. So let's go ahead and do uh, fast. So previously um, there was a different mode called safe. Now that that's outdated. So you want to use fast. You want to make sure to have that. So check profile. Um, on this profile, um, let me stress this a, l a lot because a lot of people miss this and they say, uh, why is it not working? This uh, slash three profile it the email is matching with my Walmart email that I have uh, entered uh, the previous step so make sure that email is matching your profile email and your session email they are matching they have to match exactly it's cap sensitive I believe so just literally copy and paste that into your profile and you'll be okay um, for uh, proxies Resi's you works the best um, personally, I've been using AYCD Oxys and um, they've been working really great for me, so I definitely recommend that. I'll leave a link below with a coupon code if you want to get some yourself. So with SKU, let me get that real quick. Um, I'm going to pull this from our group. You want to make sure you have the most up-to-date uh, SKU and offer ID because they definitely change things up really often. So let me pull that up. So this looks like it's the disk and the offer ID is here. So for delay, since this is a queue system um, for this task group, you can really have it at 5K and you're, you'll be fine. One, uh, max price, this should be whatever retail is plus tax. But if you wanna be lazy like me, just put 650, you won't get third party with that. Um, check out attempts, I just leave it blank. The default's around 20 or 25, I believe, as well as the amount of checkouts. So um, you can play around with it and put your number in. Let's say you want to do 30, but I've personally not noticed any difference with that, so I just leave it blank. Um, so here's here's where I mentioned where in this task group, I'm going to be using the accounts I already have. So make sure you click Use Profile Account. With CAPTCHA provider, I personally like going with 2CAPTCHA, but you can also go with Cat Monster or any of this here. But for this video, I'll do two CAPTCHA because I like them. Um, watch task. You don't want any monitors anymore. So make sure you have that off. Um, preload. I don't use preload as well just because it can charge. It'll like um, 
it'll process your card before you actually check out which can cause some errors so you want to be careful with that personally I'm just gonna opt out on that and not use it um, I ha don't have Rakuten that's just cash back so uh, uh, that that'll be another video where you set that up uh, wait for Q mode uh, yes so this task group like I mentioned is for Q so I'm gonna click that and you'd create there you go so I created that task so if I start this it's gonna um, start log me in and it's gonna say pause so with Walmart now you're gonna do you're gonna start task twice basically one is just to log you in um, you want to do that about like 30 minutes before the actual drop happens 30 to the one hour um, before it actually happens because Walmart will get clogged up with a bunch of requests to log in there you go so you saw previously right now that um, there were some like PX issues that's normal it's just stellar trying to solve them for you there's gonna be a lot of errors so that's why a lot of people run a bunch of tasks and when I mean a bunch like over a hundred um, but for for um, accounts that you have Walmart Plus, you should only have about like five per account for each SKU. Um, the reason is because there's no big difference other than um, your, your it might go through easier is like with the PX solving, um, but it's still gonna share the same queue time on each account on on that account. So if I had like different ones here since they're all sharing the account it's gonna have the same queue time so um, as far as I've researched that's what I've seen but you feel free to add more um, tasks per account if you think um, otherwise or you want to try it out um, it's always recommended so here is so it says pause which means it's logged in and it's ready to start so all you would do is click start and then it's gonna go through queue not found so that that's obviously okay because obviously the queue is not up right now so I can go ahead and stop that so in this instance let's say they don't have a queue and um, it's a Walmart plus drop but it's not a queue so you want to have a task similar to what I just made um, let's click edit since I already went over this so it has the SKU um, yep that's the updated SKU and offer ID all the only difference is you're not gonna have wait for queue selected um, and then you're gonna see different message from this so let it log in it's still gonna log you in it's gonna say paused um, there you go and then if I click start it should say um, out of stock or error let's see it let it run a little bit and let's look at through these messages so these are like all normal messages you're gonna see looks like uh, I think the out of stock message is now just error yep it looks like it so obviously the reason why I'm getting these errors is because the page is not even up um, you have to wait for the actual drop to happen so I'm gonna go ahead and stop that don't waste my data um, also that's a good point um, to make that you don't want to waste your data like starting like a couple hours before because honestly they're gonna tell us when a drops about to happen even if it's an hour before so you got time to prepare have them all logged in um, where it says paused and then you just start them so in this in this instance let's say I want to use a uh, fast queue mode but um, I want it to auto gen so the only difference on this one is that um, here where it says account you want to click the bottom one which says auto generate with Walmart plus you want to be really careful with this because it's gonna charge you for that but then cancel it but you're still gonna have that charge there um, you don't want to have like a hundred accounts being auto genned and then you get a bill of like a well I don't know a thousand you don't want that to happen just be really careful with this uh, I personally just like making my own accounts but some people will go this route so it's definitely an option for you um, and obviously this would be an instance where um, wait for Q mode is selected so if I wanted to run this I would start that and I would get the same uh, same um, things I won't let this go all the way through because I don't want another account because I have a lot Walmart plus so here's creating an account uh, yeah so you get the point it'll have the same message I just don't want it to charge me and then finally let's say it's just a random drop that has no queue mode but you want to auto gen um, like I said you just the only difference is gonna be no wait for queue um, 
I guess if that's that's basically that what you need to know for tomorrow's drop and for and really any Walmart Plus drops that might happen. The only difference would be if it wasn't Walmart Plus, you would uh, change this to just auto generate. Um, that way it won't charge you for any of the Walmart Plus charges um, that applies. So hopefully this video helps clear up the mud and um, you know, you're ready for tomorrow's drop. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or even mention me in Discord in the group. I'm always in there helping people. Um, I have no problem helping you guys, especially if it's like something that you think is confusing I'll, I'll be more than happy to help you guys other than that hopefully you guys have a great day and good luck good luck with these uh drops that are happening this week thanks